Hi guys, episode number two. How do you trade audio SD? If you want to get help when it comes to audio SD, I will highly suggest you watch this video to the end. I have very, very important information on audio SD and how to make you start making profits and being on the right side of the market. Guys, audio SD is one of the favorite pairs that many people tend to love and I know why. One, it doesn't, it is not volatile. So it is a good pair for beginners. And also having USD as a quote, whenever there is news, this market, this, uh, the pair can really move and people can make money. So in today's video, I want to show you three things that you should master without USD. If you have a notebook, remove your notebook, start writing these three things down and do not assume the three things that I'll be uh, guiding you on this video. Number one, you need to understand that Audio SD controls seven other pairs, right? Yes, you heard me well. It controls seven pairs. So if you want to, uh, to trade other pairs that I'll be telling you, uh, that are controlled by Audio SD, you need to have perfect analysis on Audio SD and you need to know the direction of the market. This is, this is not where you come to guess because if you guess it wrong, you will be mis, uh, you'll be misguided with the other seven pairs. So these are the seven pairs I'm talking about. Audi USD positive correlation pairs are number one, Audi JPY, Audi card, Audi CHF, NSD JPY, NSD USD. NSD card, NSD CHF. Even if you go down to your chart and check Audi JPY, Audi card, all these pairs, they are doing exactly what Audi USD is doing. Sometimes this pair may move with many pips. Sometimes they may move with less pips. But the concentration is that if Audi USD is buying, the other pairs are still buying. If Audi USD tend to sell, then this pair will, uh, will follow the Audi USD and start selling. So you need to understand that you can't be selling Audi JPY and you are buying Audi USD because they have positive correlation. So you need, if you are good with Audi USD, your perfect analysis, you think it is buying. When you go to Audi JPY, first of all, the mind of selling, it is done. You need to look for more opportunities on buy. And if you get a reason to buy, first of all, you can go ahead and, and do it. The other thing that I want to tell you guys is that the correlation, the negative correlation on Audi USD. There are five pairs. There are more. I know there are more, but I have picked five pairs that do negative correlation on Audi USD. What do I mean by this? Audi USD, uh, if it is buying, these five pairs tend to sell. So when you are buying Audi USD and also you come and buy GBP Audi, you are in trouble. So the negative correlation pairs are GBP Audi, GBP card, GBP NSD, Euro Audi, USD card. These five pairs tend to do opposite. So if Audi USD is selling, these pairs will be buying. If Audi USD is buying, these pairs will be selling. So you need to know if you miss on Audi USD analysis, you better just don't trade that day. Because if you think Audi USD is selling, yes, you know about the negative correlation and you go and buy either of these pairs and then the other positive correlation you do buy but your analysis was off you get everything wrong that's how audi usd is so strong when it comes to be traded so guys the that thing that i want you to write uh, uh to write down is audi usd or base structure how do you trade out USD? It obeys structure. My first episode, I talked about GBPUSD and how it does not obey structure. Mostly GBPUSD obeys news, obeys if there's something with the US dollar, it will sell. If there's something with pound, it will buy. But when it comes to Audi USD, it obeys structure. And structure, I mean, first of all, it obeys support and resistance. Never ignore the structure on Audi USD. Support is broken, that market shall sell. Resistance is broken, the market is, 
it it will buy and then trend line if trend line is if the price rejects a trend line the market will react don't if you don't have trend line you will wonder why is the market uh uh just bouncing off maybe there's a trend line you didn't put and you have missed it and then the chart patterns the audio sd mostly obeys double top uh uh double top double bottom head and shoulder those uh patterns chart patterns are very very important when you come to audio sd and if you uh spot them you will be able to make a kill on audio sd and the last but not least the candle pattern on audio sd they speak volume if the price does not want to break it will start showing weak rejection candles if the market wants to move it will start giving you momentum candles if the market doesn't want to move it will start giving you indecision candles so you need to understand that audio sd it it, it it you cannot trade audio sd with support and resistance you need to put your trend line you cannot just a uh, trade trend line you need to spot a chart pattern and if you trade with the four uh four things that i have told you you will be good to go so i'll give you an example because i don't want to make this video so big i've already given you the three things to look on audio sd for instance let's take how does audio sd obey structure we have said about support resistance in this uh, i mean my four hour in this chart the market we can see clearly is an uptrend. We can see from a four hour time frame, the market is making high highs, high lows, high highs, high lows, high highs, high lows, high high. And this was a very deep retracement. And then it came and broke that resistance. So the market we can see clearly it is an uptrend. So let's see the first warning if our resistance were getting broken. So this is where we had the first resistance. You can see that is where the market was, but it came and broke the structure. So the minute the structure is broken, the resistance is broken, even if the seller started going down, keep in mind Audi USD respect what it did because it broke resistance. The market will tend to go up. So your work is to look for buyers entry when the market starts pulling back or giving or doing a retracement. And then uh, you can see again, the market came around that place and did the same thing, broke the resistance. If it broke the resistance, don't mind about this sell because this sell, if you start selling in, selling in, go where the direction, go with the direction of the market. You see, it was very deep. It We are seeing like it broke that low, but because the initial, the market had broken the resistance, the market obeys the structure and it went up. Remember, uh, the market broke now that resistance again. So whenever this move was being done, the market had broken this structure. So let me show you what to do in, in case of a deep retracement. When the market has a resistance and that's our key area, we want to see if it will break. And we can see clearly the market broke this resistance. It broke it. So what do you do? The market will still be uptrend unless this law is broken. Our structure is still uptrend. Don't mind the market moving down with uh, the sellers pushing the market down almost to our, our, our zone area, which is support. If at all this support is not broken, we cannot call that market a downtrend. So this is what made many people... Uh, miss this trade because audi usd has been buying for so long so this is what people did um people came here they took this that's our resistance and i've told you you need to have four things to trade audi usd so that's your resistance yes and then the market you say where is your uh support and then people marked the low is this one so they had resistance and then they had support and because they can see this support but what they don't know is because this high was broken so our law that we are connecting with is this one not this one that was the whole mistake of uh, those if you if you sold this pair thinking it will sell but the the the, the truth is that the market kept buying so when the structure was broken see 
it came and resisted. And I'm telling you the four thing we have said, the, these four things we have said, candle patterns. You can see these candles, they are rejecting a place. It's like they are resisting. It's like they are rejecting. We can see the candle. So if you had in mind that how do you this speak volume with the candle patterns? You can see the first candle rejection, rejection, rejection. These candles, there were like almost eight candles and it's four hour per candle. It means that it was not ready to go down. So if you, if you, in your mind, you, you saw, you saw the, the BOS, the break of structure at this level. For you, you entered sell here. Many people entered sell here thinking the market is retesting. But I'll show you what. If you didn't use a trend line, that's why you thought the market was retesting. But if you use the trend line, you know that this was rejection and the market was going back to the structure. So if you use your trend line from this angle all the way, if you used your trend line and you know trend line, we connect uh, two positions or two uh, price position. If you connected this position with this position it was for sure the market was getting rejected at the trend line so there's no way you would have said it is coming to retest and then go down again if you didn't keep in mind that they had broke let me show you the zone that they had broke if you didn't keep in mind that this was what there was it was broke like what we had here was a very uh it was a high high so buyers had intentions of pushing that market up and our our initial law that we would have attested with was this was uh this law this law this is what our main goal this was our main goal so if the market would have broken this eventually that market would be a sale but trend line happened break of structure happened and this this law didn't break the previous law so that buy was uh it was uh confirmed it's just that you people were blinded by this break they didn't even uh, they didn't even pay attention on what the market is doing now the market has broken this structure now we let's let's now get into the details of where the market is currently the market has broken uh this structure so we have a high high so what is our law? Our law is not this one. And this is where we go wrong. This is not the law that we are looking to be break, to be broken so that we can uh, say this market is downtrend. This is not the law. This is not the law. This is our law because that's what we check. If the market now breaks here, Audi USD will be a downtrend. But up to uh, before that, we are on uptrend and it is very, very hard to trade market uh, that has really pulled like this. So we will wait for a pullback and the interest we will, for me, that's how I'm trading it. This is my area. I want to see how the price will behave on this area. Will it get rejected or will it break? If I look on my daily time frame, the same thing that is happening. Daily time frame, we can see the market is approaching this place. It is approaching this place. Will it reach to that place? Because I've told you how DSD respects structure very well. And then the other thing, if you go to weekly time frame, it's very important to know how will this candle close? How will this candle close? Because if the candle close as a rejection, we have a trend line. I've told you, if you trade your bear charts, we have a trend line here. Go put that trend line like that. So everything depends on the candle close on this week. And it has only today and tomorrow. So how the candle will close will know the direction of the market. If it closes like that, it will eventually come to the next resistance because how do USD really respect structure? Guys, I hope that was enough with Audi USD. If you want to trade Audi USD, those are the zones to check. Check your weekly candle. How does it close? Check your daily candle and then your four-hour candle. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. Love you.